So about this kid Cam Evans. Top ranked in his position coming out of high school, but the question all colleges are asking is, will he be reliable? I mean, as you know, he was in jail right before his senior season in high school. So Cam Evans recently just signed to BYU, and I'm glad someone is giving this kid a chance. Okay, so I'll admit it, I had my doubts, but this kid is remarkable. He just can't be stopped. Another BYU win, and another great performance by no other than Cam Evans. Is he good? Yes. But should he win the Heisman Trophy? Hey, I'm not too sold on that one. After a great season in winning the Heisman Trophy, Cam Evans says that he will be transferring to another college to continue his football career. News came in that Cam Evans has now transferred to the University of Southern California. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to my second season, man. Hey, I'm going to let y'all know right now I do got a lot in store, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Y'all yeah, going to want to stay tuned for this one. And if y'all haven't already, go ahead and check out my first season. I got it all in one video. See, I ain't got to scroll through and find the different episodes and everything. Go ahead and hit where that arrow is and then come back to this video. And as y'all can see from the intro, I did end up transferring to USC. And I let y'all know I was going to transfer at the end of the first season. Now, I know y'all ready to see me play, but a lot done happened between the first season and my second season. So, I'm going to catch y'all up to speed first. All right, so boom. As y'all could probably guess, me winning all these awards and trophies, including the Heisman as a freshman that was doubted, led me to gain a lot of notoriety. Gaining over 150 thou while on the ground, featuring me in a couple of interviews and a few podcasts. And with my name being the hot topic, I was able to strike a few NIL deals. One of them being for a sports drink and the other being for a fast food spot. And of course, during that off season, I was putting that work in, knowing I'm gonna go up against harder competition. And I'm trying to win that Heisman back to back. And I was even able to get some workouts in with the top receivers in the league, like AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, and Justin Jefferson. So I definitely feel like I'm ahead of the game and I'm just ready to go out there and prove it. And now that everybody's caught up, and hopefully I went to go watch the first season, it's time to hop into the first game, and let's get it. All right, so first game of the season, and my first game at USC, we going up against Hawaii. And I pick up my first reception early in the game with a game of 22. Oh yeah, and we gonna be rocking some new uniforms that y'all ain't even seen yet. Late in the first quarter, I pick up my second catch and snag us that first down real quick. So me and Caleb Williams catch the defense snoozing on this play. I know I gotta make that house call picking up my first touchdown at USC. And with that, I tie the game up 7-7. Three minutes into the second quarter, I stick to my route and make this nice toe-tap grab for my second touchdown of the night. Ah, uh, but wait, there's more. See a gap in the defense, and so does Caleb Williams throwing a bomb to get me into the end zone once again. Me training with those NFL receivers is starting to show off. I'm way more of a threat than I was my freshman year. And I can already tell the QB got trust in me throwing this in the triple coverage. I'm able to come down with it, picking up a gain of 20. Instead of sticking to my route on this play, I break off, and I end up grabbing now one, two, or three, but four touchdowns in my first game of the season. Four minutes in the fourth quarter, I stick to this goal route. The defense comes up, which leaves me wide open, allowing me to pick up my fifth touchdown of the game. With that, I already broke a score record for most receiving touchdowns in a single game. So, of course, we end up walking away with that dub. Your boy win player of the game, walking away with a crazy stat line. And I'm trying to carry that momentum into the next game. Second game, we going up against Washington State. I get my first reception, breaking off my route, and picking up a game of 14. A minute left in the first, I end up breaking away from my defender, making the cut inside, spinning out of a tackle, and picking up that first down. Later that same drive, I end up finding the open spot and picking up a game of 20. Start of the second, I finally get my first touchdown of the game, breaking in, and the QB finds me in the end zone. Instead of coming back on this round, I decided to keep going. That decision paid off as he threw a dot, and now I'm making the house call. Picking up my second touchdown and putting this up 13-0 over Washington State. Now, I might have had too much momentum going. I make a bad call for the ball, and it ends up getting intercepted, but I do make that tackle. And these are the minor things I'm going to have to fix if I want to make it to the next level. I end up picking up another decent amount of yards, breaking off this go route, and picking up 24. Now this play, we get an easy one because the DB wasn't set, so I take off for the end zone, adding another six points to the lead. Late in the second quarter, I stick to my go route and I beat the DB, and the quarterback throws a bomb downfield, allowing me to pick up a gain of 43 yards. Now one thing I'm good at is finding gaps in the defense, and I finish that drive off with another touchdown. Now instead of sticking to my route, I decide to fade him up, 
The quarterback finds me open, picking up a gain of 37. And so we have no problems grabbing a win over Washington State with the score being 49 to seven. And I end up winning player of the game again with another crazy stat line. Hey, I told you I'm trying to win Heisman back to back and I was not joking. Tapping into the next game, we up against Boston College and y'all see me rocking that all gray. I get my first catch early, spinning off a defender before being brought down for a gain of 22. I end up getting my first touchdown on the first drive, making the cut to get into the end zone, he throw a laser. And with that, we up six zip. Next drive, we start off with good field position, and I add on to that, picking up this first down for a gain of 10. So we don't score on that last drive. This play, I make a cut in. Quarterback sees me open, and I take off for a gain of 22. Hey, y'all can't tell me these new uniforms ain't tough, bro. These next level. This play, I start off in motion, and I choose to stick to my route, find the open spot in the defense. Quarterback delivers it, and I pick up a nice amount of yards before being brought down. Late in the second, I choose to stick to my route, and I pick up the first down, and the overall gain of 20. But the very next play is start off rough, but I end up breaking away, making a cut inside, picking up the first down, breaking three defenders before it being brought down for a gain of 20 again. Three minutes left in the third quarter, I try to make my second touchdown, but I end up being brought down. But I do get us in the red zone. This play, we catch the DB not set like we did in the last game. I end up completing that pass for a nice amount of yards. Now, it was closer than expected, but we do end up winning 29 to 14. And this is my third game in a row walking away with player of the game with 11 receptions for 205 yards, a touchdown, and a tackle. All right, so after that win against Boston College, we had a bye week. So I took that time to go out to Chicago, and I'm on my way to the airport right now. My guy, JB, has his court date, and you know I got to be there to support. So that's why I'm headed. And if y'all don't know who JB is, go back and watch the first season. But hopefully today we hear some good news. I'm going to catch up with y'all later. All right, so after sitting in the courtroom for a very long time, it ended up being worth it because we got great news that they finally letting my guy JB free. And while he was in there, I had promised him I'd be looking out for him and his family. So of course I had something special waiting for him when he got out. I had broke him off a nice chunk of bread from that NIL money. I ain't gonna lie, that was a great feeling knowing I could help him out and get him back on his feet. And of course he was beyond grateful. And my grandparents let me know someone else I knew had just got out of prison. Now even though I was raised by my grandparents and we never had that father and son bond, it was still good to see my dad and talk to him after years. He basically was seeing how I was doing, and he let me know he had been hearing about how good I am at football. And I wish I could have stayed longer because it's a lot of questions that are unanswered. We got a lot of catching up to do. But unfortunately, I had to get back and catch my flight because we had an early practice that morning to get ready to go up against ASU. All right, y'all, fourth game of the season. We ranked number three going up against Arizona State. My first catch of the game came late in the first quarter. That don't even matter because we beat the defense, and now we taking that to the crib, picking up our first touchdown of the night and already giving me 80 receiving yards. I ain't gonna lie, Arizona State got some good defense. They was making sure I wasn't grabbing that. But while they was making some good contests, they still didn't find a solution, allowing me to once again beat the defense, breaking off my route and picking up my second touchdown, with this one being a 61-yard reception. Starting off in motion on this play, instead of breaking in, I choose to keep going straight, and I pick up a gain of 19. Early in the third quarter, I break off my route early, QB finds me open, I make an easy grab and add another 19 yards in my total. Later that same drive, I'm trying to get us into that end zone. So I make a cut inside, and I'm brought down in the red zone. First play of the fourth quarter, I extend my route a little bit. QB finds me open, and I pick up a decent amount of yards before being brought down. The very next play, I find an open spot in the defense. I'm able to cap that drive off with a touchdown, making the score 30-19. to Three minutes left in the fourth quarter, and I'm trying to get four of them things. I make a cut towards the end zone, but I'm brought down with a gain of 18. We get that dub over Arizona State, and for the player of the game, guess who? Me, with 10 receptions for 260. 61 yards and three tutties. All right, so after that win over Arizona State, we move up to the rank number two. Now we're going up against Arizona. And as y'all can see, I make a nice play on my first grab, picking up 27 yards. Now this play, instead of cutting in, I break out. The defense actually played this one well, but it was a great ball. And I'm able to come up with that reception for 22. Three minutes into the first quarter, I thought this was going to get picked off, but I end up making that grab for a gain of 16 yards. Later that same drive, I'm trying to get my first touchdown so I don't stick to that comeback route. And I get close to the end zone, but end up being brought down for a gain of 16. It's all good because they know where to go when we in that red zone. So I end up catching the short pass to get us into that end zone, putting us up two scores over Arizona. And y'all know them comeback routes don't be going anywhere, so I choose to break off again. Quarterback looks my way, and I end up picking up that first down and a gain of 15. As y'all can see, it's a tie ball game. I'm trying to make something happen. I end up getting away from my defender, hitting the spin move, but I end up getting tripped up. Overall, picking up a gain of 18 yards. 
But eventually, I end up getting into that end zone again, breaking off my round. And the QB throws that absolute dot to put us up 20 to 14. First reception of the third quarter comes off of me running down the middle and catching this pass for a gain of 21. Up 28 to 21, I end up stretching the lead, finding a gap in the defense, and picking up another touchdown. And y'all saw this a few times in the last episode, where the defense wasn't set, so I stick to my go route. QB throws a bomb and gets into that end zone again. So of course we end up beating Arizona. I might as well stop saying it because you already know who won't play the game with nearly 300 receiving yards and four touchdowns. Sixth game of the season, we going up against number 12 ranked Notre Dame. And I start off the game right with the quarterback throwing in my way and I catch my first body for a gain of 31 yards. And it's only right I go ahead and give y'all that replay real quick. Later that drive, I end up beating my defender off the line and pick up my first touchdown of the night, making the score 6-0. to zero. Late in the first quarter, I end up making another big play, breaking off my route early, making the reception, and then taking off for a few extra yards, picking up 25 total yards. Very next play, instead of breaking in, I choose to break out, and I pick up another nice amount of yards before stepping out of bounds. Game tied up late in the second quarter. Instead of me running my route, I find a gap in the defense and pick up a nice amount of yards before being brought down, putting us in great field position. Later that drive, I end up capping it off with a touchdown, finding a gap in the defense. And the quarterback throws a dot. Third quarter, now Notre Dame's up with field goal. This play start off a little rough, but I end up getting open and picking up that first down. Now this play, I end up making that same mistake and calling for the ball while I'm not opening the results in the interception. Now luckily they didn't score on that pick and I make up for it, catching this short pass and making it a big play. Spitting out of one defender, breaking off down the sideline, and still forming number 29 for about five yards. Picking up 48 total yards. Now I'm trying to cap that drive off with a touchdown. I end up breaking off my route early, picking up the first down, but I end up being brought down for a gain of 13. So we score on that last drive, and this is the first play of the next drive. And I switched this up to a go route, which paid off catching my second body before being brought down for a gain of 51. Me and the QB end up catching the defense sleeping, finding a gap in the defense, and picking up another touchdown. And with that, I broke the most receiving yards in a single season. Two minutes left into the fourth quarter, I end up adding another six points to the total off this short little route, and the QB throws a dot, as he always does. So another win against the number 12 ranked team, and I'm going to just let y'all take this in because it ain't nothing new. And so far, that transfer to USC looked like it was a good decision. Now we just got to take this momentum into the next game. Seventh game in, and we finally ranked number one, going up against number 10 ranked Utah. And I start off with a nice little smooth six yards. Third and seven, and we need to convert. And I end up somewhat sticking to my route. QB goes my way, and I end up picking up that first down. Now we are going up against a good defense, and I make a bad call for the ball, which as I can see, winds up intercepted. But they don't convert on that turnover. The first pass to the second drive goes my way, and I get absolutely lit up. But at least we head on to that peel and picked up again at 17. Now this play, instead of cutting in, I choose to break outside. The quarterback throws a dot to the sideline, and I'm able to come up with it for a gain of 25. A few plays later, we finally get that first touchdown of the game, which was made by yours truly, putting us up six zip against Utah. Now, as y'all could probably guess, going up against a good team, everything ain't easy. They made a few plays like this, stripping the ball out. Six to seven with two minutes left in the second quarter. We trying to get into that end zone, and that's what we do. Off of this quick, simple route, as I die for the catch to put us up 13-6. But late in that second quarter, we would face some adversity as he throws another pick, which I can take the responsibility for. But we end up getting the ball back before the time ran out. And I don't know how they let this up, but I stick to my go route and pick up another touchdown. Putting us up two scores right before halftime. Coming back from the half, we put together a quick drive. And I finish it off with another tutty. It's the start of the third quarter and I already got four touchdowns. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter, I end up picking up another reception, finding an open spot and snagging that first down. Tallying up another win against number 10 ranked Utah. It sounds crazy, but this is one of my more chill games. 155 yards, four touchdowns, and 10 receptions. And ladies and gentlemen, this is where I would end the video. If y'all haven't, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And let's try to run this video up like I did the last one. And I'm going to continue to drop this type of content weekly. And so with all that being said, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.